Hey there, my name is Manish and I'm part of M Square Automation Solutions. Today we'll see how we can connect Calendly to Monday and Slack. So whenever anyone books a meeting invite into our Calendly, that can be automatically put in into Monday board as an item. Plus, you can also get an instant notification on Slack. Now, we are going to use a lead generation example. So let's say if we have one Calendly invite type called introduction meeting and someone is filling a form or let's say a couple of questions they answer about their information and you want to put that lead into Monday board. Also, we will be segregating Monday board into multiple groups. So based upon that leads industry, you can even group the lead or let's say Calendly uh, or the Calendly invite info into multiple groups. So for example, I'm an automation consultant and if I'm getting any lead on Calendly, so one lead related to the education industry, other lead relates to retail manufacturing or the automation or IT industry. So accordingly, those leads will be classified into different groups on Monday board. Plus I'll be getting an instant Slack notification. So let's see how we can build a simple two, three step scenario to do this entire automation. Now for this purpose, we'll be using make as an automation platform to integrate all these different applications. Plus we'll be putting certain rules and conditions to define or to route each of the invite into a specific group on our board. This is my meeting invite or this is my calendar invite type is called 30 minutes meeting and uh, this is my booking page. So anyone who's booking this meeting have to answer a couple of questions, their name, email address, company name, agenda, country and the industry type. Now here I have created a Monday board also. So Monday board name is called calendar invites and i have different group by industry so education industry meetings will be fall here manufacturing will fall here it retail and automation and finally uh, here we have couple of columns on each of the item something called item name so that is the prospect name then we are asking about the uh, status of that meeting we can uh, uh, keep the meeting date prospect email company name industry country meeting agenda and couple of field i kept for my own purpose which is like meeting link meeting notes, follow-up meeting and the uh, follow-up meeting a date. Now let's go to make. Uh, here we can start building our scenario for automation. So we can start with Calendly itself. So let's go for Calendly. Now here we have a couple of triggers and the actions on Calendly module. So for example, if I want to get a notification about a new meeting, so I'll just uh, click on watch events. So whenever a new meeting is created in my Calendly, this scenario will trigger automatic. Now I have already established a connection with my Calendly. In case if you have not, then you can click on add. After that, I'll be using a module called get an event. So get an event will give me more information about my meeting. So it's around like I have to map the event ID from here. So I can get the meeting URL. I can get the meeting start name and start date and time and a couple of other information. Then I can add Monday module straight away. So Monday module, I want to create an item here. So I choose create an item and here I have already connected my Monday board as well. I have to use the item name. So item name is nothing but uh, the prospect name who's booking this meeting. I can choose my board as Calendly invite. And finally, I can choose the group. Let's say for example, automation for this particular module. Now here we have opportunity to map different columns of Monday board. So here we can start with something called, let's say company name. So company name is our first column. Now, this is a very critical aspect of this entire automation. So you have to get all the questions answer in each of the column. So once we open this Calendly watch event module, we see there are there is a collection or there's an array of multiple answers. So it's called answer, position and question. Now you can't map directly into Monday board because it can't take array as, as an input. So we have to provide a string or a text into Monday board column. So here we are going to use something called a map function. Now under map, we'll map this array and then we'll, we'll say what we want is an answer of a question and which question. So it's uh, the name called the question name is company. Now this map function will give us output as an array. And as I said, array cannot be mapped into this Monday column. So we have to use another function called get and we'll be getting value one of this uh, question's answer. Right, so that's how we can map company name. Similarly, we'll have to map other columns. So other columns is, let's say country. So we'll be using same way. Answer of question country. Then we'll be adding few more columns. So it's around, let's say industry. So we can put the 
industry question here. Then we want to uh, map the meeting date. So here we can choose meeting date and we can straightforward map the meeting start date from this module called get an event. So we have mapped start date. We also want to include this meeting time in our board. So we can choose meeting time also. Then uh, let's map meeting agenda. So here we put in again, I'll say agenda. And finally, we can map the prospects email ID. So I choose field prospect email ID and I will map it from our watch event. So here we have email. That's it. So in first round, we did this entire mapping into Monday board. Now we, uh, we may have like multiple inputs in terms of industry. So someone can select education, IT or automation or retail. So in this case, we have to provide a router and filter. So accordingly, it will route to a specific group. So how we can add filters, just click on the middle line of this. And here I can say all the meetings passing this filter will go to automation group. And here we can put a condition called if industry is is equal to or let's say case insensitive equal to automation, then this will go to automation board, sorry, automation group. Now we have to provide multiple more paths. So in that case, we have to use something called a router and router can be added in the middle of these two. So let's disconnect, let's link it and let's link it. So here you can see, uh, this is first row is called automation. Now let's replicate this Monday module and let's create another route. Here we can put uh, the condition for, so let's say industry and here we want to put all the education industry leads. So I'm going to put education as an answer. That's it. And here we'll have to use group ID as education. So all the meeting related to education will be parked into education group. Similar way, third module or third route we can define is related to IT industry. So this is the IT route. And here we will see IT, our function is industry is equal to IT. So that's how we can define multiple routes over here. And this can help us to route the meetings into specific groups. And we have to here select the IT industry board. Similarly, you can uh, select multiple more, uh, you can create multiple more routes. Finally, after this, we want to also add Slack as uh, an instant notification platform. So we'll be creating a message on Slack. So here I already established connection, but you can see uh, it gives an opportunity to use uh, choose the channel or name of the group where we want to post it. So let's say I want to post it into general channel and uh, I'll put a message format here, prospect name. So I have prospect name from here. Then I want to add company name. So I can simply use this get map function. Then I'll use industry. So I can map it. And finally, meeting date so that I can pick from here. Okay, one more important aspect we missed here is meeting URL. Let me put it perfect. So one more column here is called meeting URL or meeting link. So this is a meeting link and that too we can add in each of the so meeting. So here you can see uh, the get event module is giving us location and join URL. So let's add it here. Similar way here also. Another column of meeting link. Perfect. And within 15 minutes, our automation is ready to deploy. Let me finally add it here as well. Perfect. So our uh, entire automation is ready. Let's replicate the Slack module. So Slack here and Slack here as well. Perfect. So this automation is ready. Now let's uh, try it once. So I'll save the scenario. Let's go. Let's put the name. So my name is Manish. I have my email ID Manish at msquare.pro. Company name is msquare automation solutions. I'll see this is a 
test meeting for education industry automation my country is india i'll select industries education and schedule event so this event is confirmed now let's go here and let's run it once so the scenario is not all turned on currently if it would then it will run automatically but however it's off i'll just run it so i click process existing and you can see it passed through education filter it moved to education industry uh, the monday board is updated and the slack message also gone so let's quickly see here perfect so we have here uh, our monday board updated so item name is manish meeting date is uh, 10 august 3 pm my email id company name industry country meeting agenda and the meeting url so everything is perfectly done let's run another example let me go to booking page let's do it once okay uh let's check on slack as well perfect so here you can see the slack also sent this message instantly to notify with other people of my uh, group let's do another trial run i'll select a meeting on 30th 4:30 pm confirm and here again i'll put my name my email id everything and i would say automation industry meeting and here i'll select automation as industry schedule event let's go to run once again we have event here this will run and now this time it gone to automation so that's how your entire board can be updated based upon uh, the different filters you can see here so automation is also passed through this entire information so that's how your monday board and calendly can be connected in a very seamless very easy way in case if you want to implement the solution in your calendly and monday board do let us know we have a team of experts who can uh, implement this entire solution within half an hour or maximum one hour's time our contact information is available on the uh, description of this video so uh, please reach out to us and thank you very much for watching this monday series uh, video keep watching monday automation series and i'll be putting more and more videos uh, about value adding features thank you very much